I've always been drawn to growth, expansion, learning, and really had to be intentional over the last, I would say, 12 to 15 months to be satisfied with where I am, satisfied with now, right? Not wanting to be reaching ahead. And I feel like I've been in that space and it's worked really well, but I'm kind of leaning, feeling myself lean back more into like, I want more, I want to grow, I want to step outside of my comfort zone. And I'm sure it's an ebb and flow, but at the same time, part of me is like, but the magic is in feeling satisfied now and not necessarily looking for something to change. So what makes you believe that you can't be satisfied now and have that high level of growth and expansion at the same time? Well, and I think the key, as I'm saying this out loud now, is the key is recognizing what I didn't previously know that when I'm enjoying the journey and detached from the outcome, I can just enjoy now. Yep. Whereas previously I was so attached to the outcome of what that growth would provide. Totally, totally. Uh, I recently watched a documentary, um, I think it was called How to Be a Billionaire. I think it was on Amazon Prime or something like that. And you know, they were interviewing these billionaires and one guy was driving his Ferrari and he literally said, like, they asked him, you know, what's the key to becoming a billionaire? And he said, like, it's enjoying the ride. It's not about the destination you're going to get to. It's about enjoying and, and taking part in and being present in every step along the road. And, and I keep seeing that message pop up again and again. Um, and, and that's what it's all about. And at the last Abraham Hicks cruise, somebody asked the question, you know, what's the key to enlightenment? What's the key to mastery of law of attraction? And her response was pleasurely. So she said pleasure was the key because you can't be in pleasure and in effort at the same time, right? Yeah. You can't be in pleasure and in resistance at the same time. So as long as you're in that state of pleasure, which really means enjoying what you're doing, the more you're in that space, the more you're doing that, whatever it is you're doing from that place of alignment and the more that unfolding is going to be um, magical. Mm -hmm. So the key for me then is to really balance what feels like, cause I can, I can get really focused, really energized, really busy in action yeah. and then almost get exhausted. Right. So it's this oh balance God. of finding that flow back and forth to stay in pleasure without having the activity build momentum enough to that it's like, now it's depleting. Totally. Yeah. It's just, you know, follow the impulse, do what feels good in whatever moment you're in and don't don't fall into this trap that I'm not moving fast enough, that I need to get more done, that I got to figure this out. Allow your inner being to move those cooperative components around to magically fit everything into place. Cool. Awesome. Great chat. Yeah, this is fun. Good. Thanks for playing. My pleasure. All right. Check you later, Amanda. All right.